What's up party people? It's Zen and Carrie. Hashtag Zeri. Today we are going to react to something different from our <laughs> usual uh, reactions. So far we have done mostly PTX stuff, a cappella groups, music videos, stuff like that. Uh, today instead we are reacting to a dance music video by Eugene Lee Yang from Try Guys. Yep, yeah, uh, so we follow the Try Guys quite a bit and of course being Asian, uh, guess who we identify with, right? Recently Eugene came out with a video where he comes out as gay. I've actually seen this video already but Carrie has not. So I've seen the behind the scenes and I thought the whole journey that he went through to come out with this video was really interesting and I thought that, you know what, I should make Carrie watch this and this would be a good opportunity for us to react and not just that also maybe enlighten you guys who are outside of Malaysia on the kind of um, climate here in Kuala Lumpur uh, with regards to LGBTQ issues. Alright, we'll try our best not to mess it up but yeah let's react to I'm Gay by Eugene Lee Yang. Feels a bit of the whiskey or it's probably Chinese tea. <laughs> This must be all his drag friends. Mm -hmm. I forgot his name. Is it Curly or something? Mm -hmm. I forgot his name. The basket guy. The basket guy.
looking magnificent. So jean. Yeah. LGBTQIA plus community. It's very interesting. This is like my third or fourth time watching it. I mm. didn't realize at all that the pasta turns from black to white at the beginning. Yeah, so it's like every each time I'm watching it, I notice more things. I think anybody can, I mean, relate to things that are happening in, like in the video itself yeah they're, they're not being accepted and, and finding people who support you people uh, trying to make you conform yeah. violence when I watched the behind the scenes he mentions that he uses colours oh, obviously we can tell that mm. the whole video it, each scene is a different colour okay. he posted on Instagram um, those photos of him in different costumes and mm. then he just mentions like Orange and then it's him in the orange uh, mm. costume and then purple blue. So I guess it's the bright colors, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I thought it was interesting that he uses black for his allies and white for his opponents. Usually, you use black. The other way around. Yeah, the other way around. So I thought it was a, a very interesting um, flipping the the usual conventions on his head. Mm -hmm. But the way to think about it also is could be like you know people who are in white. It's like they are clean and holy, holier than thou. Mm -hmm. So maybe that's why he chose those colours. Oh hey, we're appropriately dressed. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We're supporters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And everything is written, directed, and choreographed by Eugene, the most talented of the Try Guys. <laughs> <laughs> when you watch the behind the scenes, he mentions that it, it sounds as though he has, he sort of like has a chip on his shoulder to prove that, you know what, because I'm representing this community, I need to be the best I can so he's always trying to win like he's I think it's very typical of very any I think maybe in Asian culture that you need to be the best at everything like they expect you to be the best yeah. at everything yeah his chip on his shoulder where he always has to like be the best he can be he's as big as a boulder <laughs> uh, if you know what musical that's from um, comment down below so, our experience here in Malaysia. Okay, so to give you guys a bit of a background as to why I thought, I felt like we should react to this video, is because uh, over here in Malaysia, it, there are a lot of gay people. We have a lot of gay friends, especially in um, coming from the performing, arts, performing industry. arts industry. It's normal for us, but when you you meet other people who are not in the performing arts, you realise like how homophobic the society it really are. Yeah. I mean, even though you may think that they are quite you know, forward-thinking and modern, they still have a lot of prejudice against LGBTQIA+. Malaysia is still a very conservative country. Plus, it's actually illegal <laughs> yes, here. Yes, it's illegal here. Technically, also illegal in Singapore. Uh, there are laws against sodomy. Even though Singapore has the same laws, but they are generally a, a bit more open. In fact, they have a I movement mean, there to repeal the law. the law. But in Malaysia... People it, actually do get prosecuted. Yeah. Uh, there even recent news regarding politicians. Politicians' careers end because of... of allegations. Allegations of homosexuality. The thing is, whether it's true or not, is it something that we should be judging? Uh, but... The unfortunate part is that is how Malaysian society is. Just like in America where the left is becoming more liberal and the right is becoming a lot more conservative, it is similar here in Malaysia. The gap between the two is widening. And thanks to Facebook, uh, where people have, uh, where people can just comment away comments. Keyboard warriors. Yeah, we have a lot of those in a lot. Malaysia. Um, is there a solution I don't know, and I'm probably not the best person to talk about it, but there are activists 
uh, in Malaysia who are um, fighting for that, for change. Why they bring it up? I don't know. Just to enlighten you guys, that's for people like the both of us. There's not much we can do except educate the wider audience. We hope that was enlightening for you guys. Uh, if you have any questions or or comments about this topic feel free to post in the comments below oh week 32 of our pregnancy i recently uploaded a photo of carrie on instagram uh with the baby bump thanks for watching guys bye